Bonjour, bienvenue à Montmorillon. Welcome to Montmorillon. If you saw last week's video, you know that I'm a real country boy now. That's right, I've moved to the country. And they say you can't take the city out of the boy, but you can sure move him to the country and stuff him full of red wine and cheese. Hmm, yeah, as you can tell. Moving right along, I'm here in my new country town, Montmorillon. So, come on, let me show you around a little. Montmorillon is located in the Vienne department of France, which is not to be confused with the city of Vienne, which is also in France, but nowhere near here. Or the fact that the French call Vienna, Vienne. The Vienne department is one of originally 83 departments here in France and was created in 1790 as part of the French Revolution. That's the first French Revolution. Apparently there's been five. The one after this one was the one where Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe went around singing through Paris about something. Oh, Les Mis, that's it. Worst cast movie ever, just saying. Interestingly enough, many of the inhabitants of the Vienne region ended up going to Canada and settling there because they were all farmers and such and had skills that they needed. Montmorillon is also known as the City de la Lecrie. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, the City de la Lecrie. As you all know by now, if you've watched any of my videos, my French pronunciation, well, it's not the best. It has a slight Australian accent to it, hmm. But look, at least I try. To speak French, that is. Regine de Forge was a very famous French female writer. In fact, she's probably the most famous French female writer. And also a very famous Montmorillonais resident, as well as being a previous council member. She wrote a book called La Bicyclette Bleue, and she was often plagued with scandal. Yes, that's correct. At the age of 15, nuns expelled her from school because they found her diary. And in her diary, there was mention of a lesbian affair with a fellow student. Now that's controversial. She was also hit with plagiarism scares, which was all, you know, a very Gone with the Wind affair. Apparently Gone with the Wind was inspiration for Bicycle at Blue. But probably the most outrageous thing of all is that she was known as the high priestess of erotic female literature. La la. Yes. Hmm. I'd like to be known as the high priestess of anything, let alone erotic female literature. Another well-known Montmorillonite is Simon Paginon. He's not just any famous Indy car driver, you know. He actually won the Indianapolis 500 in 2019. Montmorillon used to be known for paper making. That is, until the mill right behind me, famed for its spring water, was closed in 1848 and turned into a brewery. We've even got a big water can, which is terribly handy when you want to water your garden. You could do it all at once. Montmorillon has been renowned for macarons since the 17th century. It's actually become one of the city's specialties. They love their fireworks in France and Montmorillon is no exception. This display comes with its own musical theme, as well as my loving partner's commentary. There's plenty more to show you about Montmorillon in future episodes of Travelling Fabulously, like the 12th century octagon. Apparently, that's a building with eight sides. Hmm, who'd have thought? There's also at least three churches. Well, there's the ducks, gothic bridges, museums about typewriters. There's a fabulous market every Wednesday and so much more to do and see here in Montmorillon. I can't wait to show you on future episodes of Travelling Fabulously. So remember, as I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. <laughs>